नोबेल पुरस्कार प्राप्त अर्थशास्त्री डॉक्टर अमर्थ सेन ने कहा है कि भारत की विकास दर में वैश्विक कारणों से नरमी देखी गई थी हालांकि भारत जल्द ही तेज विकास दर हासिल कर पाएगा ये बात उन्होंने डीडी न्यूज से एक खास साक्षात्कार में कही With me is one of the most influential persons on earth. With me is Nobel laureate Amartya Sen. Sir, welcome to Doordarshan News. Sir, thank you very much. You're very kind to ask me. <laughs> sir, first thing first, sir, India's economic growth uh, uh, was slow was slowing down in last fiscal year. You think it's just a blip and India will recover soon? You know, I think um, growth is very important. There are three things to say about this. One is Yes, indeed, India's growth rate can go up quite easily, but um, I mean there, there have been a slowdown of growth of nearly every country in the world, including China. Um, so there is the global recession problem, but there are a lot of internal issues too that need addressing, uh, and that has to be uh, appropriately faced. But the second thing is that we also have to ask the question: How come, when we had high growth rate, it made so little? difference to the lives of the people the third point to note is that growth depends also on the development of human capability so talking about uh, improving the quality of human lives the government of india has launched number of uh, schemes policies like mahatma gandhi rural uh, employment scheme uh, we are planning to uh, legislate uh, right to food so that everyone gets food there are policies relating to education don't you think these policies are helping uh, to improve the quality of life in the country it certainly is yes but there is a lot more to be done i mean for example uh, india spends 1.2% of the gdp in public health care where in china the percentage of gdp that goes into governmental health expenditure so public health care is 2.7% that's more than twice in percentage term in absolute terms since china is richer and has a large slightly larger population in absolute term is five times as much so i think we have to indeed we are doing a lot we have to do more so what in your view is the key problem faced by the country today like you saw last year we we faced a major power uh, shortage i mean half the population was without electricity so what are the key obstacles well these are these are some of the obstacles uh, namely under development of physical infra infrastructure of which power is one of those factors the perpetual underinvestment in the power sector has uh, extracted a very heavy price in india but also development of education healthcare which are very badly neglected there's enormous inequalities in this respect even in the power sector you mentioned the fact that 30th 31st of july last year 600 million people were without electricity but there are two problems there the suddenly the power failed for many people that was terrible bad organization and under investment in the power sector are the, among the factors but you have to remember also that of these 600 million people 200 million people never had any power connection at all there's enormous inequality 30% of indians are not connected with electricity the percentage in china is only 1% That was a Nobel laureate Amartya Sen talking exclusively to Doordarshan News. Our Samvada Siddhant Sabbal ne Dr. Amartya Sen se baat.